I'm Tom Merritt for Tech Republic. Here are five office alternatives. Microsoft Office is right for a lot of people and businesses, and Google Workspace is right for a lot of the rest of you. But are there, you know, any other choices? The answer is lots. And whether you're looking to save money, get cross-platform compatibility, or just be free of the big companies, they're worth looking at. Here are five Office alternatives to consider. Number one, WordPerfect Office 2021. Yeah, good old Corel WordPerfect. Has a word processor, also spreadsheet and slideshow programs all in one. It also offers photo editing and management, and it can save to multiple formats like DOCX, HTML, and PDF, and it can fully edit PDFs too. It's a little bit pricey, but you only pay once, no subscription fee. Coming in at number two, LibreOffice. This is widely favored among fans of open source software and people who use Linux as a daily driver. It includes a word processor, spreadsheet, presentation, vector drawing, database, and math editor. And it's excellent at handling older file types. It works on Linux, Mac, and Windows, and is completely free. Up to number three, SoftMaker Office. SoftMaker offers a free version called, appropriately enough, Free Office, as well as a full suite for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. It's one of the most Microsoft-like suites out there without actually being from Microsoft, and it has a sizable user base in Europe. Sliding in at number four, WPS Office. It has a word processor, spreadsheet, presentation, and a PDF converter, and it works on Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. The free tier is very good. It includes most of the functions you need, as well as free online storage from its maker, China's Kingsoft. A paid tier offers more device connections, more storage, and access to the PDF converter. At number five, Apple iWork. I mean, if you're avoiding all the big companies, obviously not for you. But if you have a Mac, you have this, and it's not bad. It includes a word processor, spreadsheet, and presentation apps, and it can use Apple's iCloud for storage and collaborative editing, only available for Mac and iOS. I mean, you're probably fine using Microsoft or Google, but if you want something free or offline or just different, it's good to know there are options. And there's more where that came from too. Check out our other videos and articles at techrepublic.com. I'll see you there.